Bleak Inlet has welcomed us, as Bleak Inlet does, with timber wolves that can climb lookout towers. Now to scavenge the rest of the zone and perhaps clear out some of those wolves as we await Signal Void's next reveal. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark and our Against All Odds series. So it's midday. We are fully recovered health-wise. Weather sounds pretty good outside, not going to lie. So I'm going to go ahead and see how things look. Well, one thing I will do before I go anywhere is let's just take one more look around here and make sure that I didn't overlook anything when I came in. Rusty dog food, I'm guessing low, yep, low condition. Not worth the risk. Yep, checked everything in here. Yep, let's go. It sounds really nice outside. I'm gonna guess either clear. Yeah, a little foggy. That was gonna be my other guess. Okay. So, here's the earth. No, let's head down this way and see what we can find. I do suspect there's at least one... Hello? I've never noticed that before. Have I? Where does that go? <laughs> I can't. Season Zero runs are all about exploration and actually getting to try out different possibilities that you can feel more constrained against, if you will, on interloper difficulty and on similar difficulties. So when I see something like this, it's like, yeah, tell me more. Where does this go? Okay. I don't know that this really leads anywhere, but I, I'm just, I'm so curious. Yeah, this is a dead end. It is, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's go the other way. We're a little bit encumbered. Carrying a decent amount of stuff right now, but not too much. And the nice thing about the Timberwolves, I, I really do mean what I said in the intro there about possibly clearing out some timber wolves because okay so so this is pointless this is a red herring there's nothing here unless there's something up here maybe you know what this is you know what this is maybe this is a location where there can be a uh, hidden cache Okay, so I see a couple of picnic tables there. And this is a nice little ledge up here. That... Ow! Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I was tempting fate there. Let's bandage that. Yeah, I meant what I was saying about clearing out the Timberwolves. Because what we can actually do, now that we are not in such a, you know... That first pack of Timberwolves that I ran into, the reason they always are so nerve-wracking is that you don't really have a wide open space with which to confront them. So you can't really get out a flare and, you know, lay it down and, and, you know, take shots at them in the way that you would when you have a little bit more space to work with. Because this rifle that I've got is quite capable of taking down... Are you, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Am I wearing... Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing the Krampens. But I, I guess I need to get some better ones. Ash Canyon, here we come. But yeah, this rifle is perfectly capable of taking out the Timberwolves at the cannery. So if I don't even want to deal with the Timberwolves at the cannery, I don't have to. You know? We are very close to cooking five, by the way. It's one of the nice things about this run. As I mentioned a few episodes back, this is turning, or maybe it was the last episode. It's been a few days. Still working out the ideal cadence for bringing the series back one at a time. But as I mentioned, this is turning into a nice little run. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying the exploratory aspects of it. Not only because there are still areas of the map that I haven't played, 
areas of the map that I don't know very well, like what you just saw. But also because all of these updates that are coming out with the DLC, all of them, are going to create a situation. Which bridge is that? This is not what I remember this area looking like. Oh wait, yes it is. Okay. They're going to create a situation in which all of us are going to be learning a whole lot of new stuff every single time the updates come out. And so I just think it's ideal to take a step back and go back into learning mode where we're not necessarily trying to play on higher difficulty all the time. It's important to remember the kind of history of the Long Dark, the fact that interloper difficulty didn't exist when the Long Dark launched. I've been playing State of Decay 2 again recently, and State of Decay 2 has a similar difficulty called Lethal Difficulty that was added after the players had gained veterancy for many years, where they had gotten good, so to speak, at the highest difficulty, and they started saying, hey, why can't you give us something a little bit more spicy? Wouldn't that be cool? So interloper difficulty was added in the same way that lethal difficulty was added in State of Decay 2, in order to create something more challenging for experienced players. And... Okay, there's a backpack. So, when the game, you know, introduces new wildlife, like <laughs> mountain lions, those will be coming soon. When the wildlife refresh happens, when new mechanics like the Travois are added, it's useful to step down to something a little bit closer to what we had prior to the existence of Interloper. And I've really enjoyed that gear shift. But I also really look forward to... <laughs> makes me wonder like I, I don't worry about this at all and that's why i'm laughing because i'm just now thinking about it but like i wonder if like there's a subset of people that is under the impression that i don't intend to go back and play on a higher difficulty because i've pretty i've been pretty clear that i intend to but like this is not a permanent shift it's a temporary shift for the sake of learning and for the sake of exploration and for the sake of fun i mean i think another point that i made when i started the series zero runs is that i think that that we lose something a little bit in our playthroughs when we focus okay there's the bear i knew it was right here somewhere we lose something when we focus over much on like punishing ourselves with high difficulty and all this I'm trying to stay out of that bear's detection range not sure i'm doing a good job So the bear's cave is right over there. Because this really is a beautiful game. I mean, look at this. Look at the graphical style of the Long Dark. The fact that we're still playing this. <laughs> the fact that we still cherish this game so much is a testament to its longevity and just the cleverness of Hinnerlin's design in terms of their approach to graphics and such. And it's nice just to experience that world in a more relaxed way. And of course, the appropriate appropriateness of that particular commentary in my specific situation is not lost on me either. For those of you who have been following the saga for the last couple of months on the channel, been working with a hardware upgrade process that has not gone as smoothly as I thought, talked about it a lot. And now I'm very much reaching the point where I'm able to relax and record content the way I like again. And so it's nice to be playing a, a save file in the long dark that is not dedicated to, like, <laughs> uh, absurd levels of intensity and challenge at all times. It's nice. It's a good balance. It's a perfect marriage 
of circumstances, well, of circumstances, coming together. It's a happy coincidence, shall we say. All right, there's a rifle around there. I'm not going to miss that one. <laughs> miss one of the day. I'm not going to miss that one. All right, there's an old bedroll. Don't really need the cloth at the moment. Let's take a look around and see what we can find here. There's an orange soda. Nice. Marine flare. That's going to come in handy for the timber wolves. Running river oats. Even better. A whetstone. Uh, okay, we got some cedar firewood. That's handy. All right, let's keep looking around. We warmed up a little bit. Starting to feel numb. Oh, you're fine. Don't be a baby. <laughs> okay, now let's hop down here. Anything to be found? Nope. Okay. We'll visit the Broken Lighthouse in a second. I will probably warm up a bit first, and I will need to do some... Uh, cooking, most likely. It would be a good way to spend some time. This stuff will come in handy. Aviator cap, nice. Don't think that's particularly useful at the moment, but... A nice find. Okay, yeah. Let's get back inside. It does seem like the weather is finally about to turn a little nastier. It's all well and good. We have some shelter here. And I think... Yeah, there is a fireplace in this. Wasn't paying too close attention. Yeah, right there. So let's go ahead and lay that down. Let's place the cooking skillet as well. Yeah, cedar firewood, that's fine. I've got some cardboard matches I need to drop, so probably just a hint of inventory management that needs to be done. That's fine. There's fire starting four. Oh, that was unexpected. Okay, cool. I need to cook some porridge. I guess I'll go ahead and prepare that. And can I cook anything in the skillet? Looks like I can make some herbal tea, which wouldn't be the worst thing to have some herbal tea. I haven't had some in a while. So we'll go ahead and do that. I could eat a horse. Let's stay in lock, because I love horses. Banged up tomato soup. Yeah, let's go ahead and heat that as well. Then we'll take that porridge and make some more. That's with the oats that we just found. Perfect. This might even get me to cooking five. I'm not going to lie. It might. Okay, so it looks like I might need some water. Yeah, definitely need some water. Well, let's go ahead and just go all in on that. I'm going to need to add some additional fuel to this fire. So let's break up this bit of wood. Now we got an hour left. Nice. Eat that tomato soup. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, the downtime where I've still had a few days with uh, episodes off over the last week or so has not been for naught and working on various things that will help the channel in other ways like this guy <laughs> in situations where it's useful to actually have some uh, audio visualization on the screen All right go away so that'll be fun anything else I can do here not really. Why is that space there? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. That's the acorn bannock, but the... It's not showing. Interesting. See, it shows what, what I'm highlighting, but it doesn't actually show the entry. Weird. Okay. okay, we got an hour and 18 minutes. I need to break up additional things for wood. If I can. Perfect. This is two pieces of wood there. Okay. 
hopefully I will be able to do this. All right, this table is gonna take an hour. Yeah, once I have the water, I can make a lot more oatmeal and that'll be fine. Yeah, there's not a lot of wood left here. So I guess, let me step outside and see if I can just find some sticks. Weather's actually not that terrible at the moment. I just realized I don't have ducking running at all. I don't think the game's been too loud this episode, so I'll have to turn it on for the next episode. Whoops. That's fine. For those of you not familiar with the term, that's just a reference to the software that will make things quieter when I'm talking, which I typically have running. Oh, nice. I found several pieces of coal, which that's honestly all I really needed. And some reclaimed wood and a stick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. In that case, I'm fine. Oh, there's the bear. I knew I heard him. I stepped outside and I was like, mm, I feel like I heard a bear just now. I feel like I heard, just heard like a loud sniff. It was not just the sound of a, you know, a wave crashing against the shore. That was definitely an animal inhaling. An animal that would eat my face if I got too close to it. And sure enough, there's the bear right there. Right there. Okay. That coal is literally all I needed. There's no reason to stay outside here too long. So, back inside we go. 13 minutes. Let's go ahead and... I'm just going to put the wood on the fire for now. That's all I need to do. Let's drink that, and then we'll have some left. And what I'm going to do is get some additional water going in the skillet while we cook some more porridge here. And this should be glorious, because I really do think we're close to cooking five. All right, so let's eat that. Pain went away, that's nice. When we're done with this round of cooking, we'll check how close we are to cooking five, but I really, really suspect that we'll be very close, if not there. Okay, so that's potable water. Let's go ahead and drink that. If we're going to keep doing that, we'll use the skillet for that purpose, unless there's anything else. I mean, there's the herbal tea, I suppose. But I think I'd rather keep making water just to make sure we have enough when push comes to shove. <laughs> Elegant porridge. You just feel better knowing you're eating elegant porridge in the long dark. One thing we haven't done too much in any of the Series Zero runs is, or the Season Zero runs, is to actually, like, make some of the more advanced recipes that I have access to that generally require meat of some kind. So that one, that might be one thing to kind of keep an eye on starting, like, now. Because some of those bonuses are pretty nice. And I just haven't gone out of my way to make those. And I suppose I should. Okay, so now... Food-wise, we are looking good. Let's do a bit more porridge. I am tempted to make more tea now. How much water do I have? Plenty. Okay, I'm going to have enough for exactly two more servings. Maybe not even that. Sometimes the numbers round in weird ways. So, according to what I just saw, there was enough for exactly two servings. Yep. See? <laughs> Not quite enough. So the 0.22 is a lie. That was as expected. All right, well, in that case, we'll just do another herbal tea there. And that should be the last of our herbal tea. Yep. 
We can make some rosehip tea as well. How much time do we have left on the fire? Uh... Hmm. Interesting. I can prepare some additional items here for cooking, but I don't... I'm not feeling... Yeah, we could do birch bark tea, which I haven't made. That's gonna take ten minutes. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and make this. We picked up all that birch bark a while back, which, frankly, I didn't pick up as much as I could have. Yeah, this is an easy win, having birch bark tea just in case. Plus, I mean, there's two more hits of cooking skill. Let's see if that did it. That did not do it. Okay. <laughs> really? How close? Wow. Wow. That's super close. Okay, well, we have about six hours left. Although, I have to say... Hang on. Let me go ahead and take a torch. While we still have some daylight, I'm going to go visit... Oh, this is lovely weather. Oh, the bear! Just kidding! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that plan just got cancelled. Oh, man, I was going to go visit the broken lighthouse, but the bear is literally in between me and that spot right now. So what I'd rather do is let's rest. We're going to get like seven hours sleep. Well, six hours. We'll shoot for seven. And there's an aurora, which I was kind of counting on. Now, this leaves me in a very interesting position. Let's go ahead and drink this orange soda. <laughs> Yes, that was a reference. Orin Thoda. If you know it, you know it. Hey, radio. Okay. Moment of truth. So, now we can use this signal... There's an aurorified bear over there, so we need to be very careful which way we go here. Um, I'm scared. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. All I know is I need to be prepared for anything. Can I walk across this? Is it safe? I don't want to be any closer to that bear than I have to be. So remember that the way this works is that I, I badly misinterpreted it the first... Dude, are you on drugs? What? Are, look at this bear. He's... What are you doing? Okay. The bear is acting in concerning ways. It just makes me want to stay even farther away from him. So, yeah, I badly misinterpreted this the first time I used it. You want the meter to be all the way full, and then you want to walk in the direction that, the, that you're kind of pointing when the meter's all the way full. that bear. Oh my god, where'd the bear go? Right there he is. He's behind that tree. Alright. Alright, I know that there are timber wolves in this exact direction, so aurorified timber wolves right now would not be a pleasant experience. This is what we're here to investigate. Literally never done this before. Not on camera, not off. Don't know what's going to happen. Have never had it spoiled. Not even kidding, like, I know nothing. I don't even have a hint. Oh, 
Uh oh. I've got a bad feeling. You see where this is leading me? I might have to go back up top. Which is fine. I'm prepared to, but... Okay, you know what? Forget the cattails. I don't need cattails right now. I have porridge. Yeah, this is leading me up top. Alright, so I do see something here. The beeps are starting to get pretty rapid, so maybe I don't have to go up top, but I need to find out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not optimistic. I feel like I will probably have to go up top, but let's see what this does. If I climb this... As I try to hit spacebar to climb. All right, so we found the secret mountain path, which I think this leads to the other side. Is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, you're fine. Okay. I'm getting optimistic. Because the meter is still lighting up, and I'm moving away from the upper level, which indicates that I'm moving in the right direction. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so I'm getting pretty cold. Need to be mindful of that. I wish I had heated a beverage before I left. And I technically could, I still have lots of coal on me. This is wild. Please tell me I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm going the right way, but like... Yeah, I'm too encumbered from the stuff I've picked up. Okay. Is this working? Oh my god, it's working. Am I doing this right? Oh my god, I think I'm doing this right. I have never been here before. This is genuinely taking me in the right direction. I need to heat something in a second, which I, I totally should, but I don't want to lose the Aurora. That's the reason I'm not, like, stopping to make a fire right now. I can, I can eat a little bit of condition loss. Let's go. Let's go. Beep, beep, beep. about to happen all I oh this is where I died in maybe I have been up here because this is where I died in season six of course it's here of course it is that was accidental me and my accidental mouse clicks of course it's here of course of course it's here can we just take a moment as a community to acknowledge, of course, the first objective in Signal Void and Bleak Inlet is here, of all places. It brings me back to the place of my trauma. That's so rude. Also, why is it... Okay, maybe it's not here. Yeah, it's actually kind of down there. Okay, I'm still going to come up here because... I want to see if there's anything worth discovering because there's a yeah yeah there's there's stuff here there's a heavy hammer an energy bar a book 
That'll be very handy for starting a fire. There's a dead guy. Alright. Okay. I, um... This is risky. Because I don't want to lose this Aurora for reasons I just gave. But I want to go ahead and light this. Since I know I have the book, I'm going to use... Just to save time, I'm going to use my last accelerant. Perfect. I'm going to pop a couple of pieces of coal on the fire, which should get it nice and warm. Perfect. All right, and now we're going to heat a birch bark tea and drink that. Okay. Now, getting down there is going to be a bit of a challenge. But I have to get down there. Alright, so that's not going to completely fix my problem. But I'm a little bit warmer now. I just, I don't want to waste time because if this Aurora goes away, I lose the ability to use this particular tracking device. See, remember what I was talking about with death walls? I don't want to try and hop down here thinking that I'll just make it and then be wrong. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm moving a little bit slowly on account of all the stuff I'm carrying. Hang on, let me see if I can maybe hop down here. No, let's not try that. Given what's happened here in the history of the series, I just don't want to take unnecessary risks. Because that irony, yes, it would be hilarious, but I'd also be very upset. <laughs> I would not be a happy Hadrian. So we're gonna we're gonna play it safe. It's it was cool to kind of discover this path, and it kind of felt like I was finding the right way, you know? Kind of felt like I was onto something. Alright, there's still plenty of time in the night. What's this icon underneath my... You see that? What is that icon in the bottom right? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm assuming it's something to do with what I'm doing right now, but I don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. So what we're going to do is veer to the... Okay. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, if, if something like that right there was a death wall, that would be so mean on Hinderland's part. <laughs> because that's such a traversable slope in every circumstance in the long dark. I can't feel my hands... Okay, so now we're close. I just need to watch for timber wolves or bears. Okay, my heart's beating so fast. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to find. I can still see the light from my fire up there. This is it. I don't know what I'm going to find, but this is it. We're so close.
Oh my god. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. What is this? What? 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 Let me in. Now, I have seen this. Like, I haven't seen it, seen it, but I remember when Sigma Void was advertised. I just want to lay down for a bit. All right, we're going to open this door, just in the off chance we need the Aurora for it to be powered. Okay. I've just gotten in here. We are 35 minutes into this episode. I am so sorry to pull a cliffhanger on you, but I need to end this episode here. In the next one, we are going to explore this bunker and see what the heck is up with whatever it is that I just found. I'm so excited. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day but Wednesday, and comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.